Hey folks, it's Abel, and I have some exciting news. You may have seen this, but we just hit my first Patreon goal, which is super, super cool. Thank you all so, so much. And I want to celebrate that by doing something really cool, and I'm doing that by adding something new to the shop. A lot of you are interested in the stained glass paintings, paintings where I divide a uh, canvas into different segments with a different song in each segment. I've done these before, always for charity events, such as live streams or raffles or auctions and all that good, good stuff, and the proceeds always go to a charity. I don't always have time to do charity events. I aim for once a month, but sometimes I can't quite manage it just due to time and money restraints and all that good stuff. But because of Patreon, I have a little bit more stability, and that means that I can do a little bit more for charity, and I'm so excited. You guys want stained glass, so I'm going to make that happen. I am offering three of these with half the proceeds, not profits, just straight up proceeds, going to charity each month, and each month we're going to pick a different charity. The other half helps me cover the time and materials I put into it. The time, really, I'm donating a huge amount of it because these probably take about 10 hours and I definitely don't get fully compensated. But the thing is, I get to donate time and all that good stuff. And it's a more, it's more of a contribution than I could make than if I weren't doing these at all. And I really am so excited for that. So how do I make these? A lot of fine folks have asked and I wanna show you the entire process. This is the first of the stained glass paintings that I've done during this new little system with Patreon and such. And this is the Phantoms album by Mariana's Trench. Big shout out to Harley for ordering. Thank you so, so much for supporting this. The very first thing I need to do is plot the spaces on the canvas. I just take a straight edge, usually a piece of cardboard, because I lost my ruler two apartment moves ago and have not been bothered to spend the 30 cents to get a new one. This process is a little bit random, but there's a bit of a rule to it. I try to only extend lines from the corner of another segment so that there aren't any weird jags and juts into the shape. I want it to be somewhat of a parallelogram, maybe with a few more extra sides, but I just, I want it to be neat, you know? I keep counting to make sure that I've got the right number and I'm not messing up by having too many or too few spaces, and I try to number them as I go along until I have it done. Now that I have the canvas set up, I need to get a full sketch of each song. If it's something I've painted before, then cool, I can skip this and work from reference. But I hadn't done any of these before, so I whipped out my little sketchbook and I did a little sketch for each song. The last song was a little bit longer, so I gave it a bigger spot so I could really work with it. And the longer the song, the more room it takes to really capture it, so I kind of want to just make sure I can nail it. And if you're wondering why I didn't just paint them in the spaces on the canvas, it's because those are shaped a little weird. And I like to have a kind of standard area where I can work and get down accurately beforehand so that they look as best as they can when they go on the canvas. Once I've got the canvas set up and the sketches done, I place them. I try to make sure to place songs that'll look nice together but still contrast beside each other. If a song has a lot of detail, I don't want a small space because then it's hard to paint and it's really crowded and it just doesn't look good. And I just kind of do my best to make things look right, mostly going by intuition. It's kind of a gut feeling with this and it's just all instinct. But like I took art classes, I know what I'm doing, kinda. The next step is to actually paint them, which takes the bulk of the time on these projects. It takes a hot minute to recreate paintings from reference, even though I've gotten a little bit used to it over the last few years. It's also tricky getting them into strangely shaped space like this, because I have to cut them off a little bit and I can't just create that exact same rectangle of the sketch, because I don't want to go over the edges of the tape separating the sections too much. That tape, by the way, is just to keep me contained. It doesn't matter if I get a little bit into the space of another song, but it's nice to have that separation so I can still see where I'm working and what I'm trying to get at. It's fine if I am a little bit messy and the edges aren't perfect, but I wanna do my best to keep it fairly clean so I know what I'm doing and I still feel nice and organized. And also that tape is from Michael's. It's just a little bit of washi tape. I think it cost me maybe $10 for that roll. I've had it forever and it's only now two years later running out. So that's good. I recommend it. It takes a few sessions to actually get all the songs because of how I tape. I like to tape right on the edge of the segment, meaning that because tape is two dimensional, the other side of it is inside the adjacent segment. 
So I never do two songs that are touching at once, which means I have to have some dry time between songs, which makes it take a little bit longer, but I'm fine with that. It would usually be about break time when I stop anyway, so it's fine. I'll take the little break. It's all right. Now, I didn't film the line painting process because I genuinely kind of forgot I was filming this. My two brain cells refused to collide and make a coherent thought regarding it, so I'm sorry, but essentially I take a small brush with black paint and slowly drag it across the seam where the two songs meet. I go gently and carefully and I try to make it straight, which is hard for my gay ass, but I try. On the edge of the canvas, I usually run the colors of the song along it to match up so that it just is pretty all around, but with these, I like a black border along the edge. I think it really pulls everything together and connects to the little framework lines, if that makes sense. These are super fun. I am so excited that I've been able to make more. The fact that I get to help a charity with it is also really, really great. So thank you so much to my patrons who made this possible. Not to plug too hard, but if you want to get cool rewards, such as a cursed thank you card sent to your home once every month, the ability to pre-request sketches for live streams, and access to patron-exclusive writings, then sign up for Patreon. You can pledge as little as $1 a month and get those cool, cool rewards. And thank you so much to the folks ordering these and supporting both me and these rad, rad charities. And thank you so much to everyone who watched this. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon.